Today, we will talk about Australian Hunter Class Frigates. The Hunter Class is a future class of heavy frigates designed for the Royal Australian Navy to replace the Anzac Class. A total of nine ships are planned with an estimated project cost of $35 billion. In 2018, the Australian government awarded a multi-billion dollar deal to BAE Systems to further refine the design of Type 26 Global Combat Ship for the Royal Australian Navy under the Project C-5000. The government also announced that the ships will be built in Australia with Australian-specific modifications and named the Hunter Class in the Australian service. Although it is based on the UK's Type 26 Global Combat Ship, some modifications are made to meet Australian requirements. The design changes include the Aegis Combat Management System, with the Saab Australia developed Australian interface, Australian designed and built phased array radar, and other systems to support Australian weapons, communication, and legislative requirements. The ship is designed with modularity and flexibility in mind to enhance versatility across the full range of operations, including maritime security, counter-piracy, counter-terrorism, and humanitarian and disaster relief operations. The adaptable design will facilitate through life support, ensuring upgrades can easily be undertaken as technology develops. Although the next-gen frigate program is optimized for anti-submarine warfare, it can carry out various types of missions including air defense, surface warfare, surveillance, and interdiction missions. The ship measures approximately 150 meter in length and weighs around 8,800 tons. The stern has a mission bay with a ramp to allow rigid hulled inflatable boats, unmanned surface vehicles, or towed array sonar to be deployed. It will be able to carry one MH-60 or helicopter and can host other Australian aircraft such as the MRH-90. The flight deck is also capable to handle large helicopter like Chinook, and facilities are also given to operate UAVs. The propulsion system of the ships will have a gas turbine direct drive and four high-speed diesel generators driving two electric motors in a combined diesel-electric or gas configuration. It will be capable of sailing over 27 knots or 50 kilometers per hour, and will have a full complement of 180 crew. It will have a range of 7,000 nautical miles or 13,000 kilometers, with 60 days of endurance. For surveillance and weapon guidance the ship will be equipped with CFAR-2 phased array radar, L-band long-range surveillance radar, S-band multifunction radar, fire control illuminator, and electro-optical tracking system. Like the Type 26 frigate, the Global Combat Ship will have an acoustically quiet hull for anti-submarine warfare, and fitted with an ultra-electronics S2150 hull-mounted sonar, and a powerful Fails 2087, towed array, and variable depth sonar. The ship is armed with a 127mm Mark 45 naval gun, and two 30mm dual-purpose guns. For anti-ship and surface warfare, the ship will be fitted with eight advanced anti-ship missiles. A total of 32 Mark 41 VLS systems will be fitted to fire 170 km SM-2 and 50 km ESSM missiles, and two 20mm close-in weapon systems will provide three-tier air cover to the ship. For anti-submarine warfare, the ship will be equipped with MU-90 torpedoes and depth charge. The warship, which will be able to operate independently or as part of a task group, will serve as the workhorse of the Royal Australian Navy's fleet. Incorporating the leading-edge Australian-developed phased array radar and the U.S. Navy's Aegis Combat Management System, with an Australian interface developed by Saab Australia, the Hunter class will be one of the most capable warships in the world. That's it for today, see you in the next video.